In my last video, I talked about the official announcement that the Duffer Brothers made in June 2021 that Amy Beth McNulty will appear as a new character named Vicky in Stranger Things Season 4. In this video, I'll be ranking characters that could be Vicky's love interest from least to most likely. Here's a spoiler warning for all seasons of Stranger Things, including Season 4, which has not come out yet. There will be references and theorizing of Season 4 audition scripts, so if you don't want to be spoiled of that, you can skip these timestamps. Credit goes to the series fandom for creating the document. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Disclaimer, this is just a theory, so no hate to any of the ships that might be affected by it. We know fans are hardcore when it comes to their ships, so we want to make it clear that we respect all fans' opinions about their favorite characters. This video is only intended to explore the evidence out there to determine how likely each character is to be Vicky's love interest. Although we will not be favoring any specific duo, we will rank who is most likely according to all the evidence we've gathered. We also want to add that we know Stranger Things isn't all about romance, and we're fairly certain that Vicky will be more than just a love interest. But since there isn't much to work with right now in terms of theorizing, as Stranger Things and Netflix in general are pretty strict when it comes to leaking info. While working on a Netflix show, we are all very careful not to reveal anything that might ruin the magic of experiencing something for the first time. Vicky's character description is really all we have to work with, and that's where we'll start. Vicky's character is described as a cool, fast-talking band nerd who catches the eye of one of our beloved heroes. The Duffer Brothers also mention in their Geek Week announcement that Vicky will play a big role in events to come. Vicky is is someone we introduced this season, but she's going to play a big role in events to come. For those who don't know or don't fully understand the phrase, to catch someone's eye, it's an idiom. What it means is to attract someone's attention. In other words, it can mean to take notice. And if you're an Ant fan, you know that to take notice is not something to be taken lightly. I guess the main question is, will Vicky catch the eye of someone who hasn't already had a love interest yet, like Will? Or will Vicky make things complicated by creating a love triangle among a well-established couple, like Mike and Eleven? Well, let's dive into all the possibilities by listing who is least to most likely. Steve, Jonathan, Nancy, or any of the other characters played by actors aged 25 and up seem to be the least likely out of all the possibilities. Considering Amy Beth is only 19, it's just highly unlikely she would be a love interest for any of them. Something to note though is that Vicky could still be roughly the same age as these characters within the show itself. This is because the actors themselves were in their early 20s when they started the show and are now in their late 20s, with their characters still roughly 18 to 19 years old. So is it still possible these characters may cross paths and interact with Vicky? Most definitely but romantically, probably not. Next, let's get into our potential love triangles. Mike and Eleven are probably the most central, well-known duo on Stranger Things, and they've had feelings for each other since they met in early season 1. Despite quite a few bumps in the road throughout the series, these two managed to work it out by the end of season 3, indicating they would continue the relationship onward in the future. Although something fans have noted is that at the end of season 3, Eleven moved away from Hawkins with the Byers family, meaning season 4 could begin with them having some complications from being in a long-distance relationship. Finn is one of the few Stranger Things cast members to mention in an interview that he was looking forward to to the new characters this season. We've added some like pretty incredible new characters. So is it possible Vicky could catch the eye of Mike at a time when him and Eleven are going through a rough patch? Possibly. But this would mean the Duffer brothers are going for quite a controversial love triangle as it would upset both hardcore Eleven and even Byler stands. It definitely wouldn't be the smartest move if they want to satisfy fans and considering there are other possibilities that are a lot more fitting, it's also just not very likely. The other major potential love triangle could be between Vicky, Lucas, and Max. Max was introduced as a new character in season 2, and she was actually a love interest for both Lucas and Dustin at the time. A love triangle, if you will. Though, by the end of the season, she and Lucas kiss while dancing at the snowball, and they've been together ever since. Is it possible the Duffer brothers decided to give these two some angst by throwing Vicky in the mix? Possibly. Lucas and Max did spend most of season 3 dating steadily, with little to no conflict, at least in comparison to the other couples. Amy Beth, Caleb, and Sadie are also all 19 years old, making it the most accurate casting out of all the options. A good argument for why this possibility is more likely than others. Caleb happens to be the most recent cast member to follow Amy Beth, though this could actually be an indication that Lucas is not the character who has eyes for Vicky, but more on that later. 
Dustin is the most recent party member to have a love interest. It was actually a pretty big plot line that spanned an entire season. The relationship was first introduced at the start of season 3, when Dustin told his friends he met his new girlfriend, Susie, at camp. Unfortunately for him, no one believed him, making it a running joke throughout the entire season. It isn't until the final episode of season 3 that Dustin finally proves she is real, in an iconic musical number. It was actually so beloved among fans that this moment is one of the most viewed YouTube videos related to the series. Considering the Duffer brothers put so much time and effort into the storyline and fans seem to really love the duo, it's highly unlikely they would just throw out all of that development only to give Dustin a new love interest right away in the following season, which is why we think this is another unlikely possibility. Which brings us to our more serious theory, starting with Will. Will is the only party member to not have a love interest thus far. Mike and Eleven had season 1, Lucas and Max had season 2, and Dustin and Susie had season 3, so it makes sense that it could presumably be Will's turn to explore a romantic relationship in season 4. Something to also note about Vicky's character is that her description is different from the other new characters. While two of the four new characters mention Hawkins High in some way, hers is the one that does not. So, is it possible Vicky is a new girl who catches Will's eye in the new town his family and Eleven moved away to, potentially? One of the main things that that makes this theory complicated though, is that there is a large portion of the fandom that believes Will is gay. Although this is in canon, there have been countless moments referring to the people around him's opinions on his sexuality. It's definitely often enough that fans are more than valid to question and even want it explored further. There are moments in the show when bullies are referring to the fact that he is potentially gay with countless hurtful remarks. It's even mentioned that his own father called him the F-slur. There's another time Will's mom, Joyce, brings up how all the other boys growing up were into Star Wars, but Will wanted to color with his crayons. He even was said to have drawn his own spaceship with all the colors of the rainbow. When you turned eight, I gave you that huge box of crayons. Do you remember that? 120 colors. And all your friends, they got you Star Wars toys. But all you wanted to do was straw with all your new colors. These sorts of things could arguably resemble the early experiences of someone who comes out as gay later in life, but it's also a fair argument that being teased for potentially being gay or being stereotyped because of your interest doesn't necessarily make you gay either. And that's something that although the Duffer brothers and even Noah himself have voiced, that they support fans' interpretations of the character and story. Do you think Byler would ever be canon? Be canon? Yeah. What does that mean? Like, what like, would be real? Or, like, like what would be like real. Mike? Um, yeah. I mean, there's definitely some more of that in season four. So, you'll see that. Okay. Spoiler. Oh. Um, I do. You'll, there's definitely some of that in the next season. They've also said that those instances related to Will do not necessarily make him gay undeniably. If anything, it proves that a lot of people around him were extremely homophobic and projected those insecurities onto him because he didn't fit the image of masculinity the way they thought he should. By the time season 3 rolls around, Will's character has been through so much after going missing all of season 1 only to get possessed all of season 2. He obviously didn't get the childhood he should have had. Because of this, we see some clashing between between him and the other three party members related to girls. There's even a moment where Mike says, it's not my fault you don't like girls, to Will in an argument. Elle's not stupid. It's not my fault you don't like girls. This moment could be interpreted in many ways, but the rain falling definitely creates a more emotional feeling, which is why it's also one of a handful of reasons fans appreciate this pairing, hence the ship Byler being one of the many non-canon favorite ships on the show. Whether or not you think Will is gay or Byler is endgame, it's possible season 4 could complicate things one way or another. Arguably, Will could be gay and still be intrigued by Vicky. It's not at all uncommon for people who are still figuring out their sexuality to have relationships with the opposite sex because of simple chemistry, only to discover that it's not romantic chemistry at all. It could also be argued that Will is not gay, and that in season 4 he's finally matured enough to where he doesn't see girls as a completely different species anymore, like young boys often do, and that Vicky just so happens to be the first girl he ever has genuine feelings for. Though, fans have noted that Noah is 16 and Amy Beth is 19 so it would be odd for them to cast an adult with a minor when they could have just casted someone Noah's age. It's not like it's a horrible age difference, not as bad as other shows' pairings we've seen over the years, but it's still enough of a difference that makes it less likely. Something we've mentioned before that might be worth bringing up again is that there were audition tapes for Vicky that leaked long before Amy Beth's role was confirmed or even rumored. The tapes are believed to be from early March 2020, before filming for season 4 halted because of COVID. The two actresses we 
we've seen from these tapes appear to be a little older, not much older, but it could mean that the character was written to be at least 18 plus, and therefore probably not written to interact with Bo romantically. She even has a line where she says her boyfriend and her broke up because he'd rather stay at Purdue than come visit her over spring break because of all the crazy stuff going on in Hawkins. And also Dan. Um, he's my boyfriend. Or was my boyfriend. He was visiting. He took one look at all this and let's just say it's not what he envisioned for his spring break. So he was like, I'm out of here. Back to Purdue. Good luck, Vic. Wow, uh, Purdue. Fancy. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> this line gives away a few things. It indicates Vicky has, or rather had, a boyfriend that is in college, which might be why Hawkins High wasn't mentioned as a setting for her, since she is no longer in high school, but a recent high school graduate still residing in Hawkins. This also might indicate that Vicky couldn't be someone who will meet in his new town, since these crazy events seem to only be happening in Hawkins at this point, and she's implying she's right there in the middle of it. There is a line where she even mentions that everyone is panicked by Gas. That's a lot of gas. Oh, yeah. Lots of gas. Gas, gas, gasoline. Yep. I get it. I mean, everyone's paranoid. My parents are like totally freaked. They're convinced I'm next and won't let me out of their sight. Now, suddenly, I'm at the Army Navy store as they prepare for war with the rest of the town, apparently. It's just so crazy. Which does match a lot of the set pictures we've seen thus far this summer related to a bunch of people in Hawkins presumably stocking up on firearms and supplies. Which brings us to our final and most likely theory of all. <laughs> What's funny is that initially we thought Robin and Vicky were the most unlikely possibility before Amy Beth's role was even announced, back when this was all just a hypothetical theory we were talking about and sharing. And yet now that it's official, this has suddenly become our most likely possibility, and for some pretty solid reasons. Robin joined the story of Stranger Things in season 3, and it's mentioned at least three times that season that Robin is in band. But I can speak Spanish and French and Italian and I've been in band for 12 years. It was obviously mentioned enough that it feels like it's important and now that we have a new character, Vicky, being linked to Band, it's not a reach to assume her and Robin may cross paths. It's also a pretty special moment near the end of season 3 where Robin tells Steve that she likes girls. It had been somewhat implied that she had a crush on Steve over the course of season 3, but by the end it was revealed that she was actually annoyed with him because the girl that Robin had a crush on had a crush on Steve. Out of all the characters in the show, Robin is the only explicitly LGBTQ plus character. The Duffer brothers put a lot of thought into her character's storyline, even having her come out to someone else. This gives a big indication that she's probably open to exploring a relationship with a girl and that it very well could be something we will see play out in the near future. When it comes to the audition for Vicky, we already mentioned that it appeared to be for an actress that was at least 18 years old, which would link Vicky more to Robin than the younger characters. Not only that, but when these tapes of Vicky initially surfaced again, long before Amy Beth's role was announced or rumored, a lot of people believed it was obvious that Vicky was talking to Robin. Vicky refers to who she's talking talking to as Katie. Hey. Oh my god. <laughs> Though this is probably because Stranger Things changes names in auditions to confuse people, still she seems to be a little too interested in whoever it is she is talking to, in a way that seems more intrigued than platonic friendliness. We also already mentioned that Finn was one of the few cast members to bring up looking forward to new characters this season. Well, Maya was the other cast member. She seemed to be pretty pleased with something specific about her character, where she even mentions appreciation for the amount of love the Duffer brothers put into her story. Though it's been forever, because we've had so much time, the like level of effort, interest, and detail that the Duffer brothers have had the time to put into this, these scripts, um, um, and that the actors have had the time to think about their characters, and like it is going to be awesome. And I'm so proud of the work that everyone is doing. Um, and I'm I can't wait for people to see the season. Um, and I it's been a long wait, but I, I think it will be worth it. Only to go into how we'll get to meet new talent and how it's been the most fun she's had on the show thus far. So could this be because her character is going to have a love interest finally after all the foreshadowing and character development in season three? And could it be Vicky? Amy Beth is 19 and Maya is 22, so there is somewhat of an age difference, three years. Though there are both adults, and it would make more sense for Amy Beth to be with Maya's character, as opposed to someone from the cast under 18 or someone from the cast over 25. This also brings us back to why Kayla following Amy Beth might have been proof that they are not actually linked romantically on the show, and that's because doing so could be a major spoiler. Unfortunately for Amy Beth, she followed Maya the instant she arrived to Atlanta in early May, which was what jumpstarted all of the theories
series in the first place before her role was even confirmed. Though with Maya having a little more experience on a show that takes spoilers very seriously, she has yet to follow Amy Beth back. Everyone else from the show that Amy Beth follows follows her back. Millie, Gayton, Noah, and now Caleb all follow her, all except Maya. Is it possible that after all of the excitement of the rumors surfaced, Amy Beth realized her mistake but couldn't unfollow Maya because that would look even more suspicious, so they just decided that Maya wouldn't follow her back to make it seem like Maya and her have not interacted at all. Unfortunately for them, if this was the case, their tactics might have backfired, as it's become even more suspicious that Maya hasn't followed Amy Beth back than it would have been if she had. Also worth mentioning that Leah Papa Kemps, who played Jane in Anne with a Knee, also followed Maya in early May, which could mean that her and Amy Beth had had a conversation about her upcoming role of Vicky and how it would involve Robin. We did see Miranda McKeon, who played Josie Pye in Anne with a Knee, comment on Amy Beth's Stranger Things Instagram post with, I've been waiting for this one, which gives the impression Amy Beth at least told Miranda about the role, which means it's likely she also told Leah and her other fellow Netflix actresses from Anne about it as well, hence why Leah followed Maya around the time she did. In June, Maya started filming a Netflix film while Amy Beth went back to the UK. This further strengthens the theory that Amy Beth will be Robin's love interest because coincidentally, they are not there at the same time and could have already filmed their scenes, which include each other, before they wrapped up their filming in June. Noah Schnapp just got back to filming recently and is filming for a few weeks, so Amy Beth leaving the second he returns might also be evidence that Vicky and Will will not be love interests. Despite all the evidence we've gathered, we again acknowledge that this is just a theory, so we could very well be off from what ends up actually playing out on the show. Perhaps she will catch the eye of a new character entirely, it's possible. Though, what does make us pretty certain that it will be a series regular is that Vicky's description mentions one of our beloved heroes. This fits more so with a character from the show that we already know well, hence them being beloved, as opposed to a new character with whom it will probably take a while for us to get warmed up to, but perhaps she will catch the eye of someone in a non-romantic way, also possible. Although the audition tapes did indicate some romantic tension between Vicky and the character she was talking to, there's still no way for us to know for certain until we get more information about season 4, either through teasers, trailers, or other promotion from official Stranger Things accounts and the cast themselves. But like we said, Stranger Things and Netflix are very tight-lipped about spoilers. If they had it their way, they would not let anything leak until the new season premieres. The more unknown and mysterious an upcoming season is, the more people that will tune in and talk about it right when it comes out. So if you're waiting to see some behind the scenes of Amy Beth as Vicky, don't hold your breath, as we likely won't see anything until closer to when Stranger Things releases. Filming won't finish until August to early September of this year. Are you finished with shooting uh, Stranger Things? Uh, this season, can you say? Yeah. I, I mean, the, you're not supposed to say, but I'll tell oh. you. Uh, okay. I'm, <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'm almost done. I uh -huh. got one more, like, little stint. We should be done in, like, August. A date for season four's actual release on Netflix has not been announced, but many fans are estimating spring 2022. This is because Stranger Things always premieres in the season with which the story is set in, and season four is set in spring, which would align with the spring season four release. This is a circulating IG story related to new Netflix show release dates, but account says they work with people in Hollywood related productions and know things, but they were actually wrong about the release date for sex education, so the fandom has kind of dropped this as a definite date. Most fans still believe that sometime in March 2022 is most likely. That's the end of the theory. Thank you so much to Anfan Memes, Annex Blythe X, Sherbert Dog Cuthbert Dot Blythe, and underscore E dot Doodle, and the series fandom, AWAE dot X dot Netflix, AWAE underscore R12, Brave Shirley, Ru Ruby.gillis.awae, Leviosa.mp4, Amy Beth X Louie, Universal.awae, and Fablu03. For shouting out my video, if you would like to receive a shout out in the next video, all you have to do is retweet my tweet about this video on your Twitter or share my post about this video on your Instagram story and tag me as well. Thank you so much, Sarasa, for becoming my first ever channel member. If you would like to become a channel member, you can find the join button below this video. Subscribe if you enjoy my content. I'll be coming out with more like this soon, including Stranger Things videos. Let's try to get to 15k subscribers soon. That's it for now. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mwah.